area database uh, cluster on four servers. Uh, it runs on Maria database uh, 10.1. So let's get started. I already created a config file earlier, but normally uh, you can create a new file. I call mine galera.cnf in this directory, and then it automatically gets seen by um, Maria database. But normally, when you do this, uh, you get an empty file. Uh, you need to enter this, and that goes for all the other servers also. Oh, I didn't have it here yet. yet. So <coughs> this will be node two, node three, node four. If the addresses are correct, yes. All right. Now, I'm going to start off here with the first IP address, the 8.1 the end. That's going to be the startup uh, server. I'm going to start a new cluster on that server. I believe I only have to enter this IP address then. And later on I'll be adding the IP addresses of the others. one I'll be adding the IP addresses I entered earlier plus its own IP address so 83 and right I believe we're set Save that. Save this one. Now, be sure to stop MySQL on all the servers. stopped and all yes then we're going to start a new cluster by using this command um, we have a new cluster should show now here that our cluster is running with one node. It's this one we just activated. So that means the other ones are able to join this cluster now. So I think I'm just going to start SQL. And then it will automatically uh, join the cluster. Well, that's taking an awfully long while. 
As you can see, it added to the cluster, so that's now on two nodes. We're gonna add the third. Also, um, I'll wait a minute for that. <coughs> I think I'll just first add all the nodes and then edit the configuration file to include the IP addresses of the nodes 3, 4 and the second one of course. So that uh, configuration is identical, that string is identical in each configuration on every server. And this is the one I mean. So this one has already been added to the cluster. This one is currently being added to the cluster. And this one still needs to be added to the cluster. So I'm not going to save that yet. Okay, so we're now at three nodes, if all is well. Yes. And we're going to add the fourth. Just waiting for that fourth node to be added. Well, we're pretty much done after that. Uh, we're going to test to see if uh, replication, replicating actually works by creating a simple database on one of the nodes. Then it should be replicated to all the others immediately. Okay. Now this should show four, yes. Okay, well that works, that's great. Add the configuration file of this one also. Oh, this one's already complete, of course, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna save this one. Save uh, this one, and this one. And that's it. Yep, that's how we set up a Glear database cluster over four nodes. Proof that it uh, that it works. I'm gonna create a new database and see how it's being replicated to the other uh, nodes. So uh, I'm gonna log into MySQL first. I'm gonna create a database. I'm gonna do the same here, by the way. Uh, Oh, I made a typo. <laughs> okay. There it is. 
and it should also appear here and it does then it's also on these two other nodes and to make things a bit more visual this is php my admin there it is and it should also appear here then there it is right so that's uh, how it works thanks for watching bye bye